this is what bear poles are supposed to look like. Georgia, it's worked much better. And we're in Katata Stream Campground and I'm just heading out for the day. I'm getting a head start on beaver and whiskey because we walk really fast and I do not. And we're gonna meet at Able Campground and have lunch and then decide if we wanna do another three to four miles um, up to the next campsite after that. quick update. So it's about 7 a.m. The guys are um, having breakfast and I'm heading out a little early because I am much slower and much slower than they are today. Uh, getting here was a trip. Like we had a good time in the car. It was fun. And then the shuttle ride was a shit show. And like the guy was like smoking and texting and driving on the wrong side of the road all at the same time. I was pretty sure we were gonna die. Um, I was glad to see that we made it in one piece, but it was it was uh, more what I thought like a hitch would be like, and less like what I thought like a paid shuttle would be like. So it was pretty funny. So yesterday I was hiking up Katahdin, and I was in the lower part of the trail, and I passed a guy and his son who was maybe like ten. And the kid goes as I walk by, smells like Nana's hot tub, and I'm not sure he was saying I smell like Nana's hot tub or just in general. But based on the dad's face, I'm guessing that Nana's hot tub doesn't smell good, so I'm guessing that was me. So that's my funny for the day. <laughs> and I'm glad no one else is around or my trail name probably would have been Nana's hot tub. So, um, 10 miles to Abel Campground, and we'll see you from there. in the pine forest so it's been nice on the feet. My knee is just absolutely killing me um, on the right side. Both of them are sore though. We uh, had to use them to get up onto a lot of the boulders because I just am not tall enough to step up and I would have to put my knee up and then push myself up and they just took a beating yesterday so I have a feeling they're going to be sore for a little while. I am loaded down in buck spray, wearing long sleeves, and there's still like 8,000 bucks around. Um, the vegetation's thick and gorgeous. My ponds have already come across in my first hour out here. There's a few people out rowing on it. It's peaceful and beautiful this morning. Took a short blue blaze to Little Niagara Falls. The trail just came together. Um, the Totten Stream with another, I don't know what this is. I assume it was called the Stream too, by the way. But the trail just came together, bigger river here. Walking along. Super soft, super comforting on the feet. And slower than I wanted to be. I think I've done about five miles and it took me three hours, which is ridiculous, but I'm definitely hurting from yesterday in my knee, so I'm just trying to take it easy. So through here you see some fire damage. And there was an unintended campfire earlier this season and starting to grow back already, which is good. Bridge is out. Did you want to fill up your bottle? Yeah. Water, yeah. You know, you no, go ahead. I'm just trying to get rid of it. So there's like not much, but. And then I fell in.
officially into the 100 mile wilderness. It is exceptionally hot. Um, <laughs> I didn't think Maine got this warm. So, uh, heading to the first shelter, which is about three miles in. Uh, there's supposed to be some tent sites in that area, um, like half mile away. So we'll do another four miles and we'll be a mile 18, 19 on the AT by the end of day one. So a little more than I thought we would do, but the um, the tent sites, there's just not as many here as there are in Georgia. So gotta, gotta do what you gotta do. But it's beautiful and pleasant. And we met some other through hikers, so a mom and a son, um, a couple, and um, a guy hiking solo. So just nice to meet some new people and get to know a few folks. All right, that's all for now. sleep. Um, I heard Brook lean to and there's camping area here so my tent's making me look a little uh, blue. I'm trying to be a little quiet because there's uh, people still sleeping but um, yeah I'm not sleeping great on the trail yet. I'm hoping that changes. Um, the bugs since we are about three miles into the 100 mile wilderness the bugs have just exploded. Um, I'm just in a very short time just covered in bites already even though I had the insect shield and um, all my gear and we had a fire going and I had bug spray on it's just they're relentless so long pants and long shirt definitely advise but I still got them on my feet and I had flip-flops on um, yeah so we're gonna filter some water and make some breakfast all right food for today so dinner tonight is gonna be tuna and probably half of this pepper rice. I probably won't be able to eat all of it. Just did some extra turmeric and a couple of chocolate covered espresso beans, green juice, and I made some chia seed pudding last night um, for um, breakfast. So it's been soaking overnight and I'll eat that. Snacks and lunch. I have a hydration thing, apricots. Um, blocks if I need them, a couple bars, some sweet potato crackers, and some turkey turkey. We're at the top of Rainbow Ledges. Normally you'd be able to see Katahdin, but um, not today. 
It's a little foggy out. Rainbow Brook Lean To. That's where we're staying tonight. You can see Jack up there setting up his tent. And there is the Lean To. Nice brook, great water source. And I heard uh, upstream there's just a little place to uh, take a dip. Good evening. We're at the Rainbow uh, Brook Shelter tonight. And it is probably one of the prettiest settings of any shelter I've seen. It is, um, you can hear it's raining, but you might be able to hear like the water rushing by in the background. You kind of come down this ledge and you cross the stream on some rocks straight into the lean-to and then there's campsites above it. And unfortunately, we're the only people here tonight. We were hoping to see some more Sobos. Um, and we only saw a handful of Nobos uh, today. And it is um, raining now, but it held off just in time for Whiskey and I to get to the shelter. We got our tent set up. Um, did a little... Uh, rinsing of the clothes in the stream, took a dip ourselves, got into our warm clothes, and down to the shelter to make some dinner undercover. And then it just opened up and has been raining since, and it's supposed to rain till tomorrow morning. So I think it timed pretty well. It should be dry most of the day tomorrow. Um, my hair is a hot mess because I don't have any way to condition it or do wash it or anything after my dip. But in general, things are quiet but good. Um, I think we're going to slow down. We're going to do two 14 days and then we're going to do a whole bunch of tents into Monson and slow down then. Um, and it's mainly just to manage some food, um, get rid of some trash and kind of reduce kind of some unwanted food. Um, and we should be good to go. So it stopped raining about an hour before we got up this morning, um, but all of our clothes from swimming are soaked. So halfway through will be our 14 miles today. We'll be at the top of a little hill or mountain I guess so we're gonna hopefully spread everything out and dry out around lunchtime but this morning it's been super duper buggy um, but absolutely beautiful we're following this uh, brook uh, I think it's still rainbow brook um, all morning and it just is absolutely gorgeous so I'm headed up the trail now Today's one climb. It was tough. Uh, my knee is definitely excruciating, but this view is just unbelievable. I'm pretty sure that that over there is Katahdin. Um, you can see more lakes that way. And I'm just taking a really long break today, getting my uh, clothes all dried out from there. Just taking it easy. Uh, we're doing 14 miles today, so I have another six and a half into camp after this. Mm -hmm. 